Manchester United 4, Real Betis 1. Manchester United scoring four goals, setting himself up for a very good first leg to go into the second leg, to go to Seville and Betis to knock the shit out of them in the second leg next week, I think. I hope so. Yes, but Manchester United after a horrible weekend, a horrible Sunday against Liverpool or Liverpool or whatever you want to say, Manchester United have slightly redeemed themselves by packing in Robert T's four goals to one. What we wanted, we wanted Manchester United to destroy, annihilate their next opponent, which they kind of did. Four goals is good enough for us, for us fans to take and take it to the next game. You know what? Today as well, like especially like the both two a game of two halves where Manchester United in the first half was poor, but in the second half they was far better. The changes that Eric Ten Hag made as well had a very good impact. For Manchester United in the second half. But overall, in the first half, my thoughts as well, like I said before, we was poor. We was definitely poor in the first half. We was very slow at coming out, even though we had a brilliant first six minutes with Marcus Rashford getting that first goal in. Rashford taking a nice opportunity from the blocked, from the defender of Raul Batiste and smashing it in. You know what, Bruno Fernandes as well, with the cross in, coming from the right-hand side, and then Marcus Rashford taking the ball from the blocked the blocked ball from the defender and then just taking it smashing it in doing what he has to put in the back of the net you already know marcus rashford 24 26 goals so far this season 18 goals in 22 games marcus rashford you already know you already know guys you've always known trust me and then perez that twit that twat that douchebag, that guy that's been on loan from Leicester, scoring his first goal. What what a time to score your first goal against Manchester United, making it 1-1. You know what? Manchester United had a, as well was poor defensively. Ayozi Perez was so much space, so much acre space to chest it in and then smash it in as well. It was a lovely finish by Ayozi Perez. Half time, we was like, that's it. I'm not having this. You better go out there, turn up Manchester United. You better turn up. And Manchester United did. They turned up. First, Anthony. Ho, 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 ho. Outside the box, just like the goal he scored against Barcelona. Anthony is curling one out from the top. Bins corner. Oh, beautiful. Anthony already knew what was going on. He was pointing at the bad saying, Don't forget that like, this is Manchester United. And then Bruno Fernandes, Manchester United don't score set pieces too often, but today they scored a set piece. Bruno Fernandes running, finding space. No one was really defending. No one was marking him. Bruno Henry in and you already know what Bruno Fernandes, as soon as he scored, he was like, I don't want to hear it. All this trolling for the last couple of days, this seven up, this seven days, this seventh hour, this seventh month, the seventh year, you can all suck my balls, suck my big, Bruno balls, and that's what happened. Bruno making it 3 1. But the icing on the cake was Wout Weghorst. Wout Weghorst, I'm so happy for him, Wout Weghorst, because he he tried so many times. He has so many opportunities. And when he got that goal, you can see the joy in his face. Weghorst was ecstatic, was happy. But Pelestri as well, big up to him as well because he, he pulled it back. Scott McTominay tried, but nah, didn't go through. The ball fell for Weghorst, for Weghorst to finish it brilliantly. Full time, 4 1 for Manchester United. Good for us. We like that. We look at the second leg. Players today, World Workers, again, I said he had so many opportunities at times and I would just thought, oh, it's not going to be his day and it's just not looking good for him. But he got his goal. Mark Strashford had a decent first half. But then faded out in the second half, which of course he looked like he was tired. Which meant he had to come off, which made sense. Diego Dalo in that first half was poor until Aaron Wan-Bissaka came on. Dalo had a poor, poor game today. And Anthony, yes, Anthony had a decent game in the second half. David De Gea was poor in that first half. Giving the ball away could have cost us that time, David De Gea. Your passing was poor. This game, he's been all right so far with his passing, but right now his passing has been really poor. Manchester United top goal scorers. Marcus Rashford got 64 goals so far. Okay. All time in Europe. That's good. He's beating Cristiano Ronaldo, which is good. We like that. 
You know, of course, Wayne Rooney all time. With Van Nistelrooy with 47, Rooney with 99 goals. Big up to Rashford as well, man. Rashford doing his thing, man. Man of the match today, guys. Um, uh, do you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to give it to Wout Wekos because he worked his socks off. He worked to get goals, even though when he was offside, he it meant a lot. And I'm going to give him the man of the match because, you know what? Even if it's his second goal for Manchester United, he deserves it, man. You know, he's and we 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 see him. He's that he gives that that Peter Crouch vibe football, but hey, he's here to do a job and he's doing a job. Don't give the match today has to go to Diego Dallo and David De Gea for the nonsense they've done in the first half, man. That's it, guys. This has been your match reaction from your boy Ivorian Spice. You know what I mean, guys. Let me know who your man of the match is and your don't give the match in the comments. Let me know your thoughts in the game as well in the comments. What was what, that goal? Ha, handball for what? For when Real Betis go for, for the Ayozi Perez goal? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Smash that like button. Share across all social media platforms. And press the notification bell so you're the first one to watch. We're back again with another watch along this weekend. A Premier League one. Hopefully we get the three points. As usual, guys, remember to subscribe. Follow us on all social media platforms. Remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready now because your boy is out. Peace.